Uh, Liam, it's not called an emergency budget, <laughs> but it's certainly emergency say, help, isn't it, it? It looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's a duck. It does feel like an emergency budget. This is a £30 billion package of measures that's much, much bigger than the £12 billion package of measures which Rishi Sunak brought out in mid-February uh, to be introduced in April. A lot of those measures have been delayed. A lot of those measures turned out to be loans rather than grants, sort of clever, clever schemes where you, your electricity money lends money to you and then you pay it back and meanwhile your direct debit's going through the roof, etc. You know, the government's saying they've brought this package of measures forward because they're listening to concerns, not least concerns put forward by you and me and people at GB News here. Uh, I don't think they brought this package of measures forward. I think this package of measures was always going to be scheduled for whatever day it was that followed the Sue Crave really? report. Really? You cynic. I'm, I don't think I'm being cynical. I think that's basic news management, and I think the government will stand accused of over-managing the news, delaying this package of measures until now, the day after Sue Gray, when a lot of people... You've seen the emails, Gloria. You, you know, we're both very in touch with our viewers here at GB News. A lot of people have been laying in bed wondering for the last month or two how they're going to pay their bills. Well, now there is a significant package of measures, but I do think the government is going to get criticised for the timing. Mm, and, and actually...